Oh, here we go. Tits. Hi, guys. So we all knew this SJW movie infestation wasn't going anywhere. It was bad enough having to sit through two hours of the new Ghostbusters, silently cringing as Hollywood did its best to shove a forced declaration of gender equality down our throats. And now we have the upcoming Barbie movie, set to star... Ugh. Amy, insert vagina joke here, Schumer. Well, I think my pussy's good. I've never really looked at my pussy. Amy, what does your pussy look like? Because women never look at their vaginas. Pussy. 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 And we all know how Amy is a self-confessed star throat cock taker. I feel like this is a good time to reveal that I have no gag reflex. So I'm sure we'll all be choking on the politically correct message the movie is sure to take on. The film to be released in summer 2018 is an enchanted style mix of animation and live action which sees Schumer evicted from Barbie land for eccentricities. Eccentricities? All like fingering herself in public. Well, guess who got a bottomless popcorn? Hello! Uh, Mr. Grey will see me now. <laughs> Look at girl. Yeah, Schumer's really gonna make a quality role model for young girls. She then has an adventure in the real world and realizes that perfection comes on the inside, not the outside. And there it fucking is. Cue the fat shaming bullcrap. Also, I think they made an error there when they said perfection comes on the inside. Otherwise, one might think of a cock eruption inside Amy's vagina. 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 And that the key to happiness is belief in oneself, free of the obligation to adhere to some unobtainable standard of perfection. And don't forget a healthy lifestyle. Barbie then returns home to save her fellow dolls by force feeding them junk food until they're all chubby too. Then all the fat dolls don't have to get triggered by the skinny ones. What really shits me about these robust, stop fat shaming me SJW women is that when it comes to pointing out that perhaps they're a bit overweight, they're so ready to make you feel like a fat shaming nasty person. But they're the first to complain about women being too skinny, too obtainably beautiful, or women who choose to make their tits larger or have other cosmetic procedures. And it always comes back to blaming men. I'm going to shame you for wanting to be more desirable and feeding the patriarchal standards of what makes women beautiful. Fuck off. So here's a super special Tits Barbie movie rendition I've knocked up for you. This is the kind of bullshit we can all look forward to. Vaginas. 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 I'm Barbie! I'm Dashiki. Nice to meet you. I just love pussy jokes. I've decided to eat ice cream until I blimp into a fat fucker. We need to stop having such skinny bodies to accommodate huge bitches' feelings. How could we fight the patriarchal oppression any better? <gasps> what in the world? Why is that skinny white chick behind me culturally appropriating afros? Hmm, i better go over there and shame her. Hmm. Well? Did you like that shit? Did we all learn a valuable moral lesson about fat shaming and dick lord patriarchy oppressing the fat woman? All wrapped up nicely with a little dose of cultural appropriation? Hmm? Hmm? Is this what you want in a Barbie movie? Is it? Is it Mike Tyson? Fuck you, Amy! Fuck you, Amy! Fuck you, Amy! Oh, Mike. Stay away from me. Fuck you, Amy! Yes, thank you. And it didn't take long for the media to hype up the fat-shaming victim bullshit. A lot of people suggested that if she is indeed going to play Barbie, then perhaps she needs to lose a few pounds to better embody the super slender character. Oh, but you can't say that shit to a woman, can you? Jokes about Barbie going to fat camp were taken as a clear sign of the way we shame women and their body image, and how it's all part of some greater patriarchal social construct of how we view women. Hey look, it's Blair White. Looks like you got caught up in this article too. You naughty fat shamer, you. Because it's not like any man ever has been told to exercise and build muscle to play a part in a movie. It all comes down to a double standard. It's okay to tell men to change their bodies to become a character, but try saying that to a woman and it's all just disgusting behaviour, isn't it? 
The reality is that Barbie has a slender figure, and people who know and love the character expect whoever plays her in a movie to realistically look like her. Why is it such a bad thing to say that Amy needs to lose weight to better portray the image that everybody knows to be Barbie? I imagine the cinema screening to look like this. Lots of booing and Amy shaming people who don't like it, yelling, Get the fuck out then! Um, okay, so just so you know, from now on, if you yell out, you're gonna get thrown out. Just so you know, if you, if you yell out, I'll say, thrown out, I'm gonna get thrown out. Okay, so everybody point to the people booing. Just point to, okay, so, go. Right. And so the infiltration of SJW content into mainstream movies continues. What franchise will fall next to the clutches of political correctness? Star Trek is already saying, boldly go where no one has gone before. Gay. And it's a good thing I don't fucking like Barbie and won't ever see this movie. And don't expect the overuse of pink in this movie, cause you know, gender stereotypes and some retardation. Thanks for watching, guys. Tits out.